the energy vibration reading for the scorpion sun moon and rising please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising sign and i want to say thank you to all the scorpions all the out some subscribers new subscribers thank you i hope you will stay this is the month of october the month of october comes up with positive positive energy vibration um this month is the month of the hair energies and with the energies of the hair we have the hair beginning the month and also the water ending the month so this is positive this four weeks have a positive energy for last week there come an and an, an, an end to whatever lower energies whatever people are stealing from you there comes an end to it okay all right here we go in the first week we have the ace of fire the ace of fire is very wonderful ace of fire is a new beginning and it's going to be a new positive beginning and this new beginning is going to come in um just like magic um and for some people this new beginning is going to remove all the negative the liars the hate um, you are protecting yourself against the this negative person and this negative person can be um, the energy of a relationship that you need to hand and whatever is happening is that you're protecting yourself from this person because you realize you want a new beginning you're working towards a new beginning but yet still you can't get rid of this negative person but there's going to be a way that you're going to protect yourself from this person because you're realizing now that this person or this situation it can be a person it can be a situation whenever this energy comes up this energy is of a, of a woman okay yeah believe it or not people it's uh, the energy of a woman and uh, whatever is happening this person is not very nice this person is a very hateful person a very dishonest person this person pretend to be nice but they're the opposite okay you're protecting yourself from this person and the second week is a wonderful week because you have the energies of uh, the seven so number seven is going to play a significant role in a lot of people life in uh, this month and the number seven energy is the seven of hair the seven of hair is that someone trying to get away with something but it's not going to happen because you're moving away from that person you're finding a way to, to solve this situation that you're moving away from this person whoever this person or situation is um, it comes up as a as a woman who is very hateful and very bitter and you are protecting yourself and you are also moving away from this person and you're going to find a solution how you can end the situation or the relationship that you have with this person so it's going to come in the form of relationship for some people is going to come in the form of situation with some people it's going to come in the form of places your workplaces or business um, situation okay the third week is a week that you have to be careful because whatever um, burden co co um, karmatic relationships that you have is coming to an end the wheel of fortune is going to bring you wonderful wonderful support because the wheel of fortune is going to come in so whatever karmatic situation you have been working out the wheel of fortune is going to bring the energy of the world the energy of the world is endings and positive new beginnings so whatever karmatic situation that you have been working on with people situation and places is going to come to an end okay i love this energy because it an end to negative forces and negative things that has been working against you in your life as we move forward we are going to have and looking at the queen of hair Whoever this person is is not uh, um, one of the positive energies that you should have in your life. You have to be careful of this queen of hair. Um, here we have the three of coins. You're celebrating something. You're celebrating that you have gotten rid of this person. You understand that this person is sucking your last energy out of you and you need to get rid of this person so if you're in a relationship with someone 
who is an Aquarius, a Gemini of a Libra. You need to release yourself from this person. This queen is sucking the life out of you and it's time you celebrate her leaving your life and this is going to happen in the end of October so in the end of October somehow the universal angels and guides are going to um, via divine intervention get rid of this person out of your life whoever the screen of person is for the people who are having relationship with an Aries a Libra or a Gemini they are leaving your life soon and it is best because that they, they have been taking your energy what I'm receiving also is that whoever this queen was um, she has been taking more of your energy than anything else and you're going to realize that when she leaves leaves your life you're going to feel because it's a karmatic situation that's her again it's a karmatic situation it's a situation that you have dealt with in lifetime and lifetime and now you decide to end it okay so whatever is happening you need to release yourself because you're you're receiving a new beginning in the month of October this new beginning is helping you to understand and realize that whoever this Aries um, Gemini of uh, um, Aries uh, Gemini or Libra person is you need to re release them because whatever is happening they're sucking the energy out of you and you need to release them okay you're realizing that they're so overpowered that you want to release them a message this is a month of messages a lot of messages a lot of other sign gets messages from other elements this is the message from the water the energy of the message from the water is a very positive message because the message from the water is your intuitions and your spirit guides who are helping you to release you of something that no longer serve you I want to say to you people this whatever is happening because you got the world in the third week whatever this negative energy of this woman is you're going to find a solution to get rid of her once and for all you're very smart people you scorpion and you're going to get rid of this person how that is going to happen is that your guides and angels it's as if the spirit world is watching over you and they realize how negative this person is this person is really really um, sick in the head I call them sick in the head that means you have crossed over the line of normality and you're going to a place where no one should go but this person is a manip manipulative person and this person is not a very nice individual so um, release yourself from this person the universe is going to help you let's see what we have for love there's a lot of burdens you have a lot of burdens but there's a most of you are in burdensome relationship not all of you but some of you are in burdensome relationship and you need to release this some of you need to take time off from love some of you again need to take time off from love sometimes we need to let um, people know that we need to take a break we need to um, take time off from people situation and things so that we can think sometimes people are so much there that you can't think for yourself you need to have a better um, sense of what is going on around you and some people um, especially for the people who need to get out of a relationship with someone who is an Aquarius listen this is for thousands of people so it can be someone who is an Aquarius it can be someone who is a Gemini it can be someone who is a Libra whoever this person is you had no right to have a relationship with this person because this is no balanced relationship this is this is and was something from lifetime and lifetime before 
because the universe is now step in the message that you will receive in via your intuitions and guide the universe is now stepping in and want to bring a balance to this situation okay whatever the situation is it's not a positive one and this is what the universe is going to do it's going to step in to clear whatever energies that has been going on we are going to now look at uh, so love for most of you it's going to be um, leaving a relationship behind okay for most of you you're going to be leaving a relationship that has been sucking your energy and draining you let's move on and look at the Sun sign scorpions what is it that is happening for the Sun sign scorpions Uranus yes yeah? so that means that something will be moving out of your life and it's happening for Aquarians if you're having a relationship with Aquarians it is going to be happening for you you're going to replace that Aquarians with an Aries okay for the lunar people you have the energy of deliverance coming in um, you need to release the liberals for the cancers okay so we are going to look and focus more on these zodiac energies so let's look at the Sun people what is happening for the Sun people for the Sun people you're having and you're going to work with Uranus Uranus is going to remove someone something or uh, things out of your life which is going to make your life much easier okay which is going to bring you back energy so when Uranus um, comes up it is moving and breaking down relationships some people are going to be uh, removing the Aquarians the Aquarians and replace them with the Aries okay a whole lot of people will be moving the Aquarians and replace them with the Aries so look out for this because it's going to be happening as we look at the lunar sign as we look at the lunar sign we are going to realize that we're going to move certain aspect and uh, um, the lunar mention um, the people who were born in the night you're going to have to be dealing with the liberals so here we are again um, the angels are showing you that the message is correct from the general reading that the liberals are going to be moved out of your life and replaced by the cancers and um, Pluto is going to help you to balance out certain aspect of yourself which is very good I love the planet of Pluto because it really heals what no, and remove what no longer serves you so this is going to be good so whoever if you are born in the night uh, um, whoever this person is this um, Libran is going to be removed out of your life and replaced with a cancer so this is wonderful we are going to go forward and we are going to look at the energies of abundancy for the Scorpio what is the message for abundancy that is coming in for the Scorpions pay yourself first pay yourself first this is wonderful because most of the time you Scorpions are always giving and giving and giving now the universe wants you to make um to pay yourself first to make yourself your most important um, financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your incomes every time you are paid this loving form of self-care ensure that you will have savings to invest in your present and your future so remember you scorpion it's very important in this month to realize that you need to start saving for yourself and this is going to be extremely positive um i am asked by the angels to look at something the first week in the month you have the energy of the snake the jealousy heart hatred who is that coming from an Aries person but yet still the world is gonna come out you have the energy of the world coming back twice so 
and this is good whatever is happening here because I'm asking what is happening as you remove this person out of your life you are going to find a magical opportunity to move this person out of your life so it's as if the a, a, a miraculous situation is going to happen and when the situation happened the world is going to be opening up to you and you're going on a new journey okay so you're leaving this person behind this is a woman that you're with that is hateful envy jealousy evil art and you're moving away from her as you move away from this person you're going to bring um, as, as if the uh, mystical um, the mis your mystical um, angels and guides are going to um, remove this person and it's going to bring you an ending but a positive new beginning with someone um, new so this is going to be good so whoever this person was this uh, um, this honest person the universe is going to come up and remove them out of your life the next energy that's why I wanted to go back and the angels asked me to go back to look at this whoever has been draining your energy it's going to come to an end okay whoever has been draining your energy is going to come to an end you're walking away from it and by walking away from it you're going to um, stand up and you're going to start attracting wonderful positive people and with that uh, you are going to have good stable and good financial balance in your life once and for all so this is good and this is positive whatever that has been happening whatever you were understanding whatever you were moving through whatever you were working through you are going to leave a negative energy behind someone who has been eating your energies and you're going to start attracting wonderful new people in your life and wonderful new experience in your life and this is going to be good so ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you whatever is happening your financial situation is going to be in balance I am seeing that a lot of people are going to be working very hard in this month you're beginning the month that you're seeing that there is a relationship that you need to let go and let it go because when you let it go you are going to find out how wonderful and how beautiful um, the universe is going to send you something that is going to be extremely positive and good so um, you need not to worry you need to understand that you need to believe in yourself and the universe ladies and gentlemen I am saying to you have a wonderful wonderful uh, month and I'm sending you love from my heart to your heart namaste please like share these videos um, um, please remember uh, that the month of the year 2018 readings are about to start happening so you can order your readings please like and share these videos and thumbs up and I will speak to you next month